So remember, I'm going to video this to remember where we parked. So level three number hovering. Three. Okay. So we're in the city and it's the first time we've parked at this car park since you were like three years old. There's stairs there. Yeah, I haven't parked here for ages. Because last time I parked here I couldn't find any spots and I had to drive out. Let's see these stairs are open. Four. Hmm, that's just not like we yet. Okay, come on, walk fast, please. Just don't fall though. Well, that's not very useful. Yeah, we come out here. So remember, come up this left hand side and we'll go up those stairs. Red. What are these lights on the ground? They go red. Oh, it tells you not to cross. No, oh, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, because it runs in the bubbles. So that's very oh, yeah. now. That's a great idea. If you're looking down, I can tell you stop. That's a good idea. Ridiculous. Oh, look, remember that. Do you want um, Mary's? Oh, they got the ball and the... So we're at the Marigold restaurant, but it's not open yet. It opens at 10, and we go into those lifts over there. We have to wait. Look at this sign. Do you want to feed? Do you want to feed? That's right, slow down. I'm just going to record these leftover chicken bones on my plate. See what you mean. I can see plenty of things. You don't know who Jackie Chan is? No, I don't know who he is, I just don't know who Bruce Lee is. Bruce Lee is a kung fu guy. 
Oh, there's one here near the other entrance. It's really good. Do you want to go get a red pocket? We've run out. We've not given you any more. in Paddy's Markets which was cool and now we're going to head off to Circle of Key and have a look to see what's going over there apparently there's some lanterns or something which are only at night but we'll have a look now There's like nothing behind us. It used to be really full and now there's not that much. To everyone who was born after the year 2000, this is a phone booth. So now at the rocks and there's some oh, yeah. stuff on here for Chinese New Year apparently, so we're going to go check it out. Oh, It's Mr. Bao that's famous for their buttons. <laughs> they're comfy ducks. What else do they have like? <laughs> Crackling pork. We should have. Oh look, they've got octopus and crocodile schools. <laughs> Sixty-eight. 
Authentic handmade yum cha dumpling. Oh lover, forgive me, my fickle heart is twisted in. Right, that's a giant ship, it blocks out the whole half. Alright, that's cool. So how's this different to the normal? I told you that. But there might be some stuff outside. It looks like there's some stuff outside. Because this looks like this is what looks like this. That's pretty big. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see what stores they have up here. Remember where the building behind us used to be a bear store, it's like a bear store, and now they've replaced it with a gallery, which I'll never walk into. There's nothing there. Okay, should we go down to Circle of Key? I don't think there's much here. That's a big ship. Oh look, there's like a few here. A yeah. yeah, and there's like, is that a ram?
So I think we've seen most of the zodiac signs now. See for a bit and maybe get some ice cream. Oh, there's a dog. But then there's uh, another one over there. Um, we're home from the city and I just wanted to just film a follow-up video on today the yum cha we went to at Marigold wasn't bad but it was surprisingly empty considering that 75% of the people in the restaurant were white people and not Asian it makes me a little bit worried about the quality of the place is because one of the telltale signs of a failing Chinese restaurant is when the Asians population doesn't go so that's a little thing by the time we left at quarter to 12 it was hardly maybe half full and considering it's the weekend before Chinese New Year I think that's an indication of probably some problems the actual Chinese New Year stuff in the city was pretty good there were zodiac signs scattered throughout Circular Quay and near the Opera House and the rocks and that was pretty cool to look at and hopefully you like some of the video on that and one other thing was that at World Square, I've just noticed that they've got a new DJI store. And I managed to get hold of this, which is the Osmo Pocket Controller Wheel. Been looking for that for a while now, and hopefully that'll help me with the sort of the lens going up and down on this camera. So I'm keen to try that out. Overall, it's been a long day. It's kind of hard being in the city for this long, especially when one of the kiddos weren't really into it. But that's how it goes. Hope you enjoyed this video please leave a comment or subscribe to my channel and i'll catch up with you again soon